Tekken 8 has a new heat mechanic, and with that, there are a couple new things you can do while in heat, and one of them is the heat dash, which can extend your combos like this. But what is heat dash and how do you use it? That and more, so let's get right into it. Take it one step at a time. So for quick context, he in Tekken 8, simply put, is kind of a like super stance, super form. You do chip damage on your opponent if they're blocking. You have this heat super move that can also be used at the end of combos to do massive damage. You get your heat bar every single round, so don't be afraid to use it. It's a really good tool for that heat super move you get along with doing chip damage. It's also a great tool to extend a giant combo using heat dash. But it can be pretty tricky at first to understand what is heat dash. So the first thing you have to know about heat dash is you have to be in heat mode to be able to use it. You can't use it like outside of it. You can't use it to like get into the heat mode. And every character has a couple ways to get into heat mode. Azucena here, for an example, we have our normal heat button. We have forward one, two together. And we have back three. And those are ways to get into our heat mode. So what is heat dash? We can use those moves that originally get us into heat mode. Hold forward and we dash forward to extend the combo. In doing so, yes, you can extend the combo, but also immediately ends your heat mode. So it's kind of a replacement for your like heat super move. You no longer get that super move, but you now get that combo. So you're kind of doing a trade off. Is it worth it to do the combo you want to do? So again, let's go ahead and get into heat mode here. Our back three, I know, would originally get us into heat mode. So I'm going to do that, then hold forward. And there you see the dash. So you can do the heat dash mechanic from any of the moves that would originally get you into heat mode in the first place. So let's go ahead and showcase what an actual heat dash combo would look like. We're fighting, we're fighting. Okay, we're gonna get into heat mode, let's go. I know I can do my heat dash. I'm gonna do my back three holds forward. Now, would that combo be more optimal, be better situationally compared to using a heat super move? Eh, it kind of depends, right? To be fair, you want to use that more or less already in a combo. Like, let's say you're already in the heat mode. You want to use that heat dash already in a combo like this. You see what I'm saying? You want to use that really in a combo that they can't already get out of. You don't want to just throw it out there. Because if we try doing heat dash on our opponent's blocking, we're not going to get our combo off. So you really want to do it off of an already hit confirmed combo just for that combo extension. Now to kind of take a couple steps back here, just a reminder, you cannot do it from like outside of heat mode. So even though our back three gets us into heat mode, we can't like hold forward now and do it. You have to already be in heat mode activated, then do your heat mode moves, then hold forward then you get the heat dash combo i would recommend knowing a combo to do from there so i know for my opponent being knocked down i can do my three three so worst case scenario from heat dash i can do three three just something heat mode is a great tool and mechanic in Tekken 8 that provides a lot of utility and a lot of options heat dash is one of them the heat super move more chip damage you just gotta play it by ear play it by situation and think what is the best and most optimal usage for my heat meter as of right now if this video helped you make sure to subscribe here for more fighting game content turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing and remember in fighting games and in life just take it one step at a time